Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ programming on Linux. In previous video, we made a demonstration how to write a C++ program on Linux and directly access Amazon AWS DynamoDB table. And in, in this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to set up C++ library a DynamoDB connection on Linux. In order to make in C++ for the DynamoDB application, we have to download the once install the AWS SDK for C++ library, and this SDK is modern open source C++ library, and to make it easy to integrate your C++ application with AWS service like Amazon DynamoDB. And we also have to download and install the AWS command line interface. After the install, and we can write a program. Here is a preview video's example, get items. And after we removed all the connection setup, if and uh, here, okay, let's first begin. This is the Amazon Management, AWS Management Console. This is a DynamoDB service. And in this DynamoDB, I have created a table, a little table called the player. And this player has the three items. So, and the, the key is the ID with 1234, 1235, and 1236. So, in order to set up C++ uh, Linux to access this table, we have to set up a user in the uh, from the IAM. Before we set up, we have to save one thing. This is one thing's Amazon resource name. So this string, we just make a copy, save somewhere. So we just save this string, and uh, we have to say this resource player there we were created on the closed region. It's this is the US East, US East two region. So that is the information we need to uh, save. And uh, now we go to the service called I am. This IAM stands for the Identity and Access Management. So before we need to access, we need to create a policy. So we need to create a policy. policy. And this policy, what we need to create is for the three service DynamoDB. And this is we need to access this level. So we can click this to access all. But in order to service, we can use this. So this one, we just need to be able to list the tables. And for the read, we are going to batch read, get items, and condition check items, and query, scan, and uh, and we also need to describe uh, another cloud table, describe uh, table, and uh, let's just look at one, two, three, four, five, six, and for the targeting, we don't need to use the targeting, we just skip this, and for the writing, we need the batch writing, update the items, update the table, and uh, put items, delete the items, and delete the table. And uh, we have also need here is uh, the create a table. So we give this permission able to create a table, delete the table, delete the items, update the table, update the items, put the items, and uh, target. 
So we just don't use the target. And uh, at that, we go to resource. And uh, here we don't use any index. We need to add ARN. And uh, here, ARN, what we try to add is what the stream we saved. So you see the region is the US East 2 and account and the table name is called player. We just add and then we click review policy and we get a name. My name is called my db table player. We just make sure it's our table player access. My player policy. So this is just uh, and uh, after that we just go to create a policy. So this policy is the policy for access the table player that we just created and now we go to the group and we have one group and this is just a creator and currently in the permission we have to attach policy so what touch policy we touch my this policy we just create attach policy so now this group user is able to access the table player and now we need to create a user and add a user give it a name just as any name and this user has access type there's two access one is called a pragmatic access it's enable access key secret access key for the AWS API clean SDK and other development tools. That's the exact. Other is for the AWS user management console access. We don't need that. So we just say next permission. And uh, we need to attach the user to the group. And, uh, and this group has the policy access to table player access. And then next. And this is optional. And uh, we just click next. So now we create a user. So this user has successfully created. And after user successfully created, and we have downloaded this CSV files. So we click this button to download this CSV files. Let's go to our download there. So we have this edit. This is our CSV file. So after we did that, it goes to our. So before we set up a connection, let's run this uh, program. Table is, is a pure player, and then key the like one, two, three, four. You can see we got an error because the item request is a missing authentication token. Now we did to set up our token. So let's go to another terminal. So called AWS FITU configure. So we need to set, configure this. So first uh, they ask the access key. So what is access key? And uh, let's go to here. So the access key, this is the access key, just a copy. And ask the AWS secret access key. So we go to here and this is the AWS secret access key. And our region, we already said, we see default is US East 2, so we don't need to change. 
and the output format is JSON, so we don't need a change. So now we made a setup. Let's go back to our terminal. Now this is run this program again. You can see we are able to access to our one, two, three, four. The name is John. Last name is Oliver. Level is intermediate. If we go to our service DynamoDB table player and items and let's go to say one two three four first name is John sec last name is Oliver level is at media so if we say so one two three five one two one two three six let's make this one two three six you can see the first name is Mary last name is Campo Bell and the female intermediate so let's check our database and the uh, one two three six first name is Mary female last name is Campo Bell in the level is intermediate hello this is Hui thanks to watch my video hopeful this is uh, useful enjoyable and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback